Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Good evening. Hey, how's it going? Today, look what I got today. I got my February Bargain Bee Box package. But alas, this will not be the package that we're going to be reviewing. Now, why is that, Shauna? Why are we not reviewing February's package today? Well, I'm going to tell you why. It is because I still have to review January's package. Now, I could sit here and tell you that I had things going on and I just couldn't get around to it. But that would be a lie. And I try not to lie on purpose. What it was, was... I just kept putting it off and saying, I'm going to do it this day, but I didn't do it that day. And then I'm going to do it this day, but I didn't do it that day. Because I put the procrastinate in procrastination. I made up all them syllables and I made it work. That's because that's what I do. That's what I do. I don't know about y'all, but I never get around to doing what I say I'm going to do when I'm going to say I'm going to do it. But I'm going to do it just... I don't know what to tell you. Don't expect it when I said it was going to happen because it ain't going to happen. Unless I promise. And I can guarantee you, I ain't promising nothing. I ain't promising nothing. Don't believe me. I ain't promising nothing. Anyway, so today's review is January's, the uh, Bargain Bees Boxes, January. It is called Midnight Skies. And although I have had this package for a month, I have not. Other than take it out of the blue envelope, I have not opened it. So I don't know what's in there pre-reading. So, I'm going to read. The Barden Bead Box Midnight Skies. Inspired by Starry Wintry Nights. This eclectic, eclectic palette mixes a variety of blues with the subtle glow of Labradorite, electroplated agate, chip glass stars, crystal accents, and bold glass barrel beads combined with a set of high-quality stainless steel and pewter findings in classic Celtic shapes to complete the collection. You guys know that there's a coupon on there. If you go to the Bargain Bead Box, beadboxbargains.com, there's a coupon code on there, but I ain't going to say it because I don't know if I can. And I'm barely getting the YouTube thing off the ground, so I don't want it to get flatlined before it even gets started. So we're going to put that away. And I'm going to put you down. Let's open it up. Hold on. Pause. So, I did it right. Yay, I did it right. <laughs> Um, I had to put them in some sort of order so I wouldn't go looking for them all crazy. Number one is my favorite of all things, chain. Jewel, Rolo. Chain. I don't know how far away from this I need to be because this is a new one. But, you know, I like making things with chains because... I just like adding, I call it silver and gold accents to my beaded drawer. So we got chain, one meter of three millimeter steel Rolo jewelry chain. Number two is 40 pieces of 7.5 star bead caps. Star bead caps, okay. Hold on. Star bead caps. I like bead caps. I've come to realize I really like bead caps because it just gives that extra shine and bling. 
Did I not locate a three? Oh, here's a three. Three is two pieces of 23 millimeter stainless steel moon phase cutout coin pendants. I think it got stuck. It's two of these. And I think that's cute. I mean, I think that could make a great looking um, necklace pe pendant. Of course, you know, I always have earrings in mine. Number four, I like these. Five pieces of 11.5 millimeter starburst pattern glass cylinder beads. These are cute. Remind me of winter, of course, because of the snowflakes, but they call it, I don't know where that camera is, stars. I think they look like snowflakes. Number five is a 10 piece, 15 by 0.5 by 20 millimeter round with moon and star links. So to go with the stars over there, we got moon and star link charms. Basically they're connector charms. I like, I like connector charms too because I always wanna have a middle for my bracelets and stuff. So. There's 10 of those, and I like that. Number six is 10-piece, 8-millimeter frosted pressed glass star beads. Frosted, they're so little. They're little, but they can be an accent to something, and they're frosted, so, you know, that's cool. And if you get a good glimpse of my nails, don't be paying attention. I tried to teach myself how to do them, and I failed immensely a bunch of times i'm a little upset about that three number seven is three sets of eight by no three sets of 18 by 25 millimeter rounded square toggles oh that's it's a decorative it's a round and a square and that's cute it's a clasp yay for clasps Number eight is approximately 10 inch strand of six millimeter English cut crystal beads. They are not bicones, they are not faceted, they are not, they are a different shape. They're shaped kind of squarish, round. I don't know how to get at a name, but yeah, they're, they're nice. I like the, I always like shiny stuff. Of course, you know, we we as people, we are drawn to shiny stuff. That's just the way we are. Number nine. A 10-piece strand of Moonstone glass round beads in soft blue. And I have to tell you, I think these are so beautiful. They are so pretty. They're rounded glass beads. I like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Number 10 is a 10 gram bag of 5 millimeter star spacer beads. They are silver star spacer beads. If you have a lot of patience like I did with my daughter, you can make a whole bracelet out of that. <laughs> a whole bracelet. Well, hers was an anklet. But a whole one, if you got a lot of patience and you want to singly do the loops, you know, make a loop bracelet. Number 11 is four pieces, four piece, 12 millimeter stainless steel crescent moon cut out round links. Oh, well, that goes with those other connectors and that is a great idea. That's a good idea. I like those. They're so little though. Yeah, I haven't had, I really haven't had time to be creating anything because I've been trying to get my Etsy shop up and going, but man, 
You got to do so much. And I don't know that I'm doing enough because nobody gets to see me. Nobody really visits my shop. I want some organic traffic, but I don't know how to get it. I'm doing all the steps, but it's not working. This is number 12. Number 12 is, an, is approximately 7.5 inch strand of 8 millimeter drizzy agate electroplated round beads. I like these, but they look like they have been abused. This one got a whole hole in it. Not just a hole, but a, it's broken. You can't, I don't know if you can see that good, but the whole bead is broken. I don't know if I'm appreciating that. I got a broken string. <laughs> That's 12. Number 13. Number 13 is approximately an 8 inch strand of 8 by 6 Crystal Rundell's Rundell beads. Crystal Rundell. Now, these are my favorite. You know, Rundell's. I love Rundell's. And I like this blue color. I love that blue color. Look at it. And I like the, the mix with the whites, the white crystals in it. I like this. I like this strand a lot. Being in the house by myself. <laughs> Startling myself. <laughs> 14. 30 by 38 by 30 millimeter antique crystal brass crescent pendant with I hate this. I'm sorry. I don't I'm I'm not a fan of antique anything and I hate this. I don't like this. I think it's supposed to go like this. And you know what? I still don't like it. That look like something they I ain't going to say what I want to say. I don't like it. Somebody might like it, but I don't like it. That's 14. 15. 22 millimeter curved forest moon link pewter plated with Thai fine silver. Oh, now this is pretty. How do you throw this dusty looking pendant? How do you throw this pendant in with all this shiny stuff? That thing is, I'm upset, but okay, whatever, can't complain too much. That was 16, nope, that was 15, this is 16. 16 is approximately 7.5 strand, 4 millimeters, labradorite, faceted round beads. I mean, I guess if you got to have this thing, if you got to have this little dreary let me turn around if you got to have this as a pendant i have this as a pendant it ought to go with something that color but really i don't like it i don't like that color i don't like the pendant i don't like it i don't like it at all 17 is a five inch strand of labradorite large chip beads so now i can handle the chip beads i'm okay with that i would not put it with that little rustic piece of looking thing i think these are pretty i like the color and i like it with this i like that this may become a personal bracelet and last but not least it is 20 pieces of six millimeter check pressed glass star beads as if they didn't give you enough star beads in here here you go there's some little some more little tiny ones and they are gray this says steel blue luster but they look gray to me steel blue luster may be a color but they look gray to me and that is the january Bargain B box package. Late, but on time. Cause you know, maybe you, maybe somebody out there didn't get around opening their package either. But there we go. Late, but on time. You know, I was putting together this bookcase as I close, and I'm gonna tell you something. I found I, I I made a I discovered a life lesson putting together this bookcase. Let me show you this bookcase. Hold on. 
I was putting together this bookcase. Actually, I put together, hold on. I put together both of these bookcases. Mm, just throwing it in there. I put together that one too. But that was many, 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 many years ago. I put together these two bookcases. And what I learned putting together those two bookcases was this. What I learned was this. When you're done with the bookcase, you know, adding all the wood pieces together, there's one very important piece of equipment. There's one piece that you really need. If you don't have that, if you don't add that to the bookcase, unless you're like stapling it, I mean, gonna plug it into the wall or something. If you don't add that one piece to the bookcase, your bookcase is gonna be unstable. And it's that little board piece. It's not wood, it's basically paper. You can actually rip it with your hands. You have to nail it in with 511 nails in the back and it gives your whole wood piece stability and structure and it's not going to wobble and it's just it's made to be it's made for that is its purpose its purpose is to hold it together and i had to think about that because that piece of wood that piece of paperboard is the weakest link of that whole thing but take it loose and your, your case is coming down. And I wanted to say that you don't have to be the strongest piece to be the most important piece. You can fall apart, but you don't always stay. They need you to hold it together in your weakness. They need your weakness to hold them strong. I don't know why that's been that hit me so hard this weekend but it did it hit me very hard this weekend somebody needs your weakness to hold them up so you go out there and you be the strength the rock that they need you be the cardboard box that they need to be strong and steady bye